usually with um, modern day motherhood most people are not always with their babies all the time so let's say you're a teacher you're a trader you're a banker you're a nurse and for most workplaces you're not really allowed to be bringing babies there and all of that like being a midwife like this i'm not allowed to take my baby to the hospital so if i have a baby i would probably would have to leave my baby with the caretaker or take my baby to the crutch for someone else to take care of the baby whilst i'm at work so if I'm expressing the breast milk for the baby, for the caretaker to give to the baby whilst I'm away, how long will it take for this express breast milk to go bad? Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Evelyn and I'm a registered midwife. This is Midwife's Diary and on Midwife's Diary we talk about everything maternal and newborn care. If this is your first time here, hey, welcome to the family. And for my returning subscribers, it's because of you guys I'm here. I really, really do appreciate you guys. So let's say you make okra stew and you don't put in any measures to keep the okra stew. By the time you keep it overnight, it probably would have gone bad. Or let me say, even Ghana soup, for instance. You put ladle in it and all of that. You leave it overnight. You don't heat it, you don't do anything to it. It would definitely go bad. Or let me say even ice cream crap, for instance. When you bring ice cream out of the freezer, then you put it down, the ice cream flattens, and then you keep it back in the fridge again. You know, it doesn't go back into the way, into the state in which it was before you took it out. So just like breast milk. If measures are not put in place to keep breast milk well, with time, it goes bad because there will be some reaction, there could be bacterials and other things. I don't really want to bore you with the chemistry and the other things. So today, I wanted to talk about how long it takes for express breast milk to go bad. But before I even talk about that, <laughs> there's this um, thing I want to demystify. That the breast milk, the breast milk in the breast, it doesn't go bad. Uh, mothers have been asking me, let's say my baby has not fed the whole day. The baby is now feeding in the night. It's feeding only in the night. Or, yeah, my baby is feeding only in the night. So, will my baby have problems because the baby didn't feed the whole day and the baby is feeding only in the night? Has the milk gone bad for the baby? Once the milk in the breast, no, it doesn't go bad. But when you express it out, giving some hours, giving some time, it will go bad if measures are not put in place to keep the milk. I hope you get it. Okay. So, for milk that you've expressed, at a normal room temperature, let's say you gave it to a caretaker to give it to the baby, you didn't keep it in the fridge, normal room temperature, it takes four hours. One, two, three, four. Four. <laughs> it takes four hours for the breast milk to go bad. So let's say you are taking the milk to your workplace and then you keep it in the cooler with ice packs in it. For that one, it can take 24 hours before the breast milk will go bad. And if you are keeping the breast milk in a refrigerator, you are keeping the breast milk in a refrigerator, it can take 4 to 7 days before the breast milk goes bad. And when you keep it in the refrigerator, always make sure that you're keeping it at the part which is closer to the fridge. I don't know how to explain it, but like, Piyasha to my name Tari fridge, you know, let, let it be closer to the, the most, uh, the coolest part of the fridge. Let, let it be closer to the coolest part of the fridge. Uh -huh. Don't just put it uh, at, um, don't just put it closer, don't put it closer to where the handle is. Just push it back a little bit. Uh-huh. And then you can keep, no way. Did you know that you can keep breast milk up to six months if you keep it in the freezer? And breast milk can actually stay up to one year if you keep it in a deep freezer. I'll leave the temperatures, um, I'll leave the temperatures here for you to see the temperatures, let's say in a freezer at uh, this degree to so that degree. But usually in Africa, in our setting, we don't shut that using kind of 
but I'll still leave it here if you really want to know at what temperature or what temperature. But what I want you to know is that when you expect breast milk, give it to a caretaker, not in the fridge. Four hours it has gone bad. If you keep it in the cooler with ice packs and you take it to your workplace, you can keep it for like 24 hours. If you are keeping it in the refrigerator, four to seven days, it will go bad. If you are keeping it in the freezer, six months, it will go bad. If you are keeping it in a deep freezer, you can keep it for six months to a year. You get it. So let's say the breast milk is in the freezer and you are bringing it out. Don't just like bring it out because it might take some time because in the freezer it will definitely get really frozen so remove it from the freezer and then put it in the refrigerator and keep it there overnight or let me say 24 hours then after that you bring it out and then you can give it to the baby so when you bring breast milk out of the fridge also make sure that you are taking the quantity that you need for the baby so as soon as you bring the breast milk out of the fridge Immediately take the quantity that you need and then put the rest back. Don't put it there for it to warm up before you now take the quantity that you need. When you put it down for it to warm up, you don't put it back into the fridge again. You don't refreeze it. So just take even the baby is taking let's say 60 mils, just take the 60 mils or let me say even let's say you're measuring with a cup. Let's say the baby is taking half cup or let's say one cup of this. You know what your baby is taking. Just pour it and then keep the remaining back in the fridge and then you now keep the, the one you've taken and you're going to give the baby you, t you put it down for it to warm then give it to the baby don't put it in don't, don't microwave breast milk else you denature the proteins the nutrients in it no don't microwave breast milk put it down for some time and then it's going to the it's going to warm up then you can give it to your baby or let's say it's in a um, let's say a cup with a, a cover or let's say it's in a bottle you can put it under warm running water and then it will help warm it up a little bit for you as well or you can let's say you warm water up and then you put it in a bowl you can put the breast milk that you've poured into a cup you can put it in the bowl for it to warm up a little bit before you give it to the baby but what i want you to note from this is that don't bring everything out for everything to cool down before you pour Pour what you need and then immediately put it back and then warm up the portion that you've taken. <laughs> I don't know if I want to talk about this now, but one thing we feel like is that the artificial feed that we give to the babies. Someone can miss the feed and then put it there like for the whole day and then be giving it to the baby small, small. <laughs> Please, we don't do that. We don't do that here. That is so wrong. For artificial feed, after mixing it, one hour it has gone bad. You can't give it to the baby again. So what you have to do is that you only miss the quantity that the baby is going to take. So if you know that your baby takes 15 mils, you miss only 15 mils and give it to the baby. If your baby takes 30 mils, you miss only 30 mils and then give it to the baby. Usually with the ones that I've seen that we use in our, um, um, our wards, the ones I've seen people use, usually in Ghana here, I don't really want to mention any brand. But the ones I've seen people use, it comes with a prescription, like how to use it and all of that. So if I know my baby can take half, I just miss the half and then give it to the baby. If my baby can take full, I miss it and give it to the baby. Even if my baby is not able to take, uh, let's say maybe takes more than half, but not, cannot really take full. After one hour, if the baby is not able to consume it, the thing has gone bad. You throw it away. Don't mix it and put it down and then be giving it to the baby. Okay, I hope you get what I'm trying to say. And also make sure that you're always washing your hands very well whenever you're coming to breastfeed your baby. Washing your hands very well. You see, usually, let's say, your baby will be crying. And then you go and pick up your baby. And then, as a mother, instinctively, you probably will check, has my baby poo pooed? So you check the diapers. And then right after checking the diapers, let's say your baby has poo pooed, you change it. And then... Right after that, you put a breast in the baby's mouth or you just feed the baby with the milk that you first pressed. You didn't wash your hand. You, get to, you didn't wash your hand. So what I usually ask my uh, mothers is like, if it were you, if it were you as an adult and you visited the laboratory, wouldn't you have washed your hand? So it, the same applies to the baby. After changing the diapers, wash your hands before you feed the baby. Always wash your hands before you feed the baby. 
I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was needful. And I hope you've learned something from this video. So if you don't remember anything from this video, I want you to remember that for breast milk at a normal room temperature, express breast milk at a normal room temperature, it takes four hours for it to go bad. You can keep breast milk for 24 hours if you keep it in the cooler with ice packs. You can keep breast milk in the refrigerator for four to seven days. You can keep it in the freezer for six months. And you can keep it for six months to one year in a deep freezer. And I also added that breast like breast like breast milk in breast which has not been expressed doesn't go bad. So even if your baby has not fed the whole day and give it to the baby later during the day, it has no effect on the baby. Like it won't let your baby run, it won't it won't do anything to the baby. Breast milk in the breast too <laughs> doesn't go bad. And I also added that we don't microwave breast milk. You pour the amount that you need and then you warm it up. You don't bring everything out and put it back again. We don't refreeze breast milk that we brought out of the fridge. I hope this was helpful. I hope this was educational. Um, I hope it was needful. Please like this video, share with other people, leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any question you want to ask. Please, if you've not subscribed to the channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that any time I upload a new video, you are going to be notified. Midwife's Diary is on TikTok as Midwife's Diary. We are on IG as Midwife's, uh, Midwife's Diary underscore Ghana. And then we are on Facebook as Midwife's Diary. Thank you so much for your time. I love you all and I'm going to see you in my next video. Midwife's Diary, as you know, guys. We are walking the top of motherhood. Bye.